This video is a continuation of our previous video in which we talked about adding social icons to your header and footer. So if you haven't seen that video, we recommend checking it out before proceeding with this tutorial. So now we're going to show you a different way of adding content to your header and footer. And using this method, you can add pretty much any shortcode. It doesn't have to be social icons. You can add a button or testimonials or pretty much anything. So here I am at one of our demo sites. And if you take a look at the header, you'll notice that we added a button here next to the menu. So now I'm going to show you how this is achieved. So this is the site that I'm going to be working on. And here in the header next to the menu, I will be placing a button. So in order to do that, I will add a new page. So let's go to pages, add new. I will not be publishing this page, so I'm not going to add a title. Now let's click on add element. I'm going to search for the button shortcode. Here it is. And now we can fill out some settings for a button. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, now let's preview this page. Here we see the button that I just added. So I'm pretty happy with this. And this is the button as it will appear in my header. Now, if you want to change this button, you can go back to your page. You can edit the button shortcode and you can modify the settings until you get the look that you were aiming for. But I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed with the next step. So I'm going to click on classic mode here. And now we've entered the backend editor. Now here you will want to copy your button shortcode. First of all, at the beginning, you will see something that says VC row and also VC column, you want to ignore these. These are just WordPress Bakery's column and row shortcodes. The button shortcode starts here and you will see before button, there is an opening bracket. So you want to select from the opening bracket and select everything up until the closing bracket. So this is what we want to select. After the shortcode, you will see it says VC column and VC row. Once again, we do not need this. Just select your button shortcode. So I'm going to copy this. Now I will navigate to appearance widgets. Over here, I will paste my button shortcode into the header bottom right widget area. So let's open this widget area. Now I'm going to find the custom HTML widget. Here it is. And I'll drag this widget to my widget area. Here I will paste the shortcode that I just copied. Just double check that your shortcode starts with an opening bracket and ends with a closing bracket. All right, so this looks good. Let's save. And now let's refresh my page. Now we can see that the button is here. Now let's go back to widgets once again. If you take a look at the widget areas here, you will notice that there are several widget areas that are related to the header. In our previous video, in which we showed how to place social icons in the header and footer, we talked a bit more about widget areas. So if you haven't seen that video, we recommend checking it out. Just a quick recap, Bridge comes with several different header types that you can use on your site. And all of these widget areas correspond to a certain header type. So when you're placing your widgets, you should make sure that you're placing them in the widget area that corresponds to the header type that you have set for your site. Now, if you want to place a button in your footer, you can use the same method that I've just shown. So you would use the custom HTML widget and you would add it to one of your footer widget areas like so. To learn more about the footer widget areas, we recommend checking out our video in which we talked about setting up your footer. So in this video, we showed you how to place a button in your header. So using this method, you can add any shortcode to your widget areas. It doesn't have to be a button. You can add icons, testimonials, separators, pretty much any shortcode.
So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can ask us in the comment section. And if you would like to be notified about future videos, you can subscribe to our channel.